members of the high table proceed solemnly into the hall. The sixth Felix Oladejo Doseku Memorial Lecture starts with tribute to the late first emeritus professor of the University of Lagos, who is being remembered today. He displayed exceptional leadership and commitment that often is not equated to any other in the history of our college. We will continue to push the barriers of knowledge. And I want to say that this kind of lecture actually typifies what the University of Lagos is all about. It's also the 56th Founders' Day of the College of Medicine and dignitaries in the medical field, as well as other guests, are in high spirits as they listen to the guest lecturer, Professor Oladapo Ashiru, deliver a lecture titled, How Medical Science Knowledge Helps Achieve the Fruit of the Womb. A woman comes into the theater, just one single prick in 15, 20 minutes, she's off and she can go home. According to him, these reproductive procedures open a door to a new aspect of medical endeavor, pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, PGD. The first successful PGD pregnancy and life birth in Nigeria for sickle cell, which is another level, which was born in 2012 uh, for a woman who had a sickle cell baby and didn't want to have any more. And then you can use it to eliminate all the other diseases like um, uh, Down syndrome uh, and other problems. A new focus on eating well to stay healthy has taken hold in many quarters, but little is known that this, as well as avoiding environmental toxins, also affects reproductive health. 90% of Africans are lactose intolerant. We can't take those milk. About 80% of Africans are gluten intolerant. The petrochemical industry in Nigeria is doing a lot of damage to reproductive organs of, and of our people. According to Professor Ashiru, the employment of assisted reproductive technology has produced 8 million babies worldwide. This corresponds to only about a 30% success rate. He believes that a breakthrough to increase implantation success would improve the results to between 90 and 95%, bringing smiles to many more childless couples. Mary Alale Yusuf, Channels Television News.